Hello everyone, I'm back with another video. In this video, we are going to discuss how we can install Ubuntu operating system in Windows 10 using VirtualBox. So that's been said, let's get started. In order to install Ubuntu operating system on Windows 10, we have to install two software. One is VirtualBox and another one is Ubuntu ISO file. VirtualBox is a piece of software that allows you to install multiple operating system in it. And Ubuntu is an ISO file, so with the help of this ISO file, we are going to install Ubuntu operating system in our VirtualBox. First of all, we have to download and install VirtualBox on our Windows 10. We had already made a video on how you can download and install VirtualBox on Windows 10. So you will get the video link in the i button or you will get the video link in the description box. So first, watch that video, install VirtualBox on your Windows 10 computer and follow this video. So this is the interface of VirtualBox. Now we have to download Ubuntu ISO file and using that Ubuntu ISO file we can install Linux operating system or Ubuntu operating system in our Windows 10. For that open your browser and search for Ubuntu and open the link from ubuntu.com. Don't worry about the download link, you will get the download link in the description box. Here simply click on download, here select Ubuntu desktop. Here we have the latest version of Ubuntu that is 20.0.4.2.1 LTS. So this is the latest version of Ubuntu ISO file. In order to download this ISO file, simply click on download. If your download doesn't start automatically, then you can click on this download now link. Here you can see it is downloading. It is around 2.7 GB. So it will take some time. Let me complete the download process. And after that, I'll show you how you can install Ubuntu ISO file. Let me tell you that I had already downloaded the file so I will just cancel this download process and I will show you how you can install Ubuntu operating system in Windows 10 using VirtualBox. Before that let me tell you recommended system requirement. You must have 2 GHz of dual core processor, 4 GB of RAM and 25 GB of free hard disk in order to install this file in your VirtualBox. And here we have another version. So this one is the stable version and this is a beta version of Ubuntu. If you want to install the beta version of Ubuntu, then you can download this version. But I will suggest you to go with the stable version of Ubuntu that is Ubuntu 20.0.4.2.0 LTS. We had downloaded all the required files. Now let us create our Ubuntu virtual box. For that simply click on new and here name your operating system. Say for example Ubuntu and from the type select Linux and from version drop down menu select Ubuntu 64 bit then click on next. If you are not getting Ubuntu 64 bit version then you have to enable virtualization option in your BIOS menu. You can search on internet how you can enable virtualization option in your BIOS setting. After that simply click on next and here you have to specify memory size. This is actually your RAM value. Say for example, I want 4 GB of RAM, then click on next. And here simply select hard disk, create a virtual hard disk now, then click on create. And here we have to select hard disk file type, select virtual box disk image, then click on next. And here we have to select our storage type, simply select dynamically allocated, then click on next. And here we have to allocate our file size, Say for example, I want to allocate 100 GB, then click on create. Here we have the specification of our virtual box. So let me maximize this window. Now if you want to change some settings, then simply select your virtual box, then click on setting. On general tab, you can rename your virtual box or you can change the version. On system, here you can change your memory, processor and acceleration. And here we have display option. So let me allocate 64 MB of video memory. And here we have storage option, audio option, network option and other settings. Now we have to select our Ubuntu ISO file. To select your Ubuntu ISO file, simply click on this storage option. Here under controller IDE, simply select empty and here click on this disk image file. Here we have two options. One is create optical disk and another one is choose a disk file. So we have our ISO file. So we'll select that ISO file. To select that ISO file, simply click on choose a disk file. Then select the ISO file, then click on open. After that, simply click on this OK button. 
Let me tell you that if you had not enabled virtualization option in your BIOS menu, then you will not get this OK option. If you are facing such type of error, then you can simply enable that virtualization option in your BIOS setting. Then after that, you can follow these steps. Let me click on OK. Here we have all the specification of our virtual box. Now to start this virtual box, simply select your virtual box name, then click on start. Here you have to select your ISO file, then click on start. On boot menu, simply click F12. And here simply select English. Let me minimize this browser and let me maximize this window. And here simply select install Ubuntu using your arrow key, then hit enter. If you find any error, just ignore this message. Here we have installation option. Simply select your language, then click on continue. Here you have to select your keyboard layout. After that, simply click on continue. Here simply select normal installation and here simply check this box install third party software for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware and additional media format. Then click on continue. Here you have to select your installation type. Don't worry, it will not delete any of your files because we are installing Ubuntu operating system in our virtual box. It will not going to affect your existing data. Now here click on install now and here click on continue. Now select your location then click on continue and here you have to enter your username. Say for example the code world and here we have to select our password. Let me create one password and here also you have to configure that password. You can select login automatically or you can select required my password to login then click on continue here you can see it is installing so it will take some time to install wait until your installation process complete after your installation has been completed simply click on restart here select your username and enter your password then hit enter if you want to sign in with your online accounts you can sign in but for now i'm just going to skip this step and here simply click on next and here also next we had successfully installed ubuntu on our windows 10 operating system using virtual box now let me show you how you can change your screen resolution for that simply click on this show application icon and here search for setting here we have our settings simply open this here simply select display option and from the resolution tab select your required resolution then click on apply then click on keep changes this way you can change your screen resolution now if you want to use your ubuntu operating system in full screen then here simply click on view and here you will find full screen mode or you can use host plus f combination then click on switch now here you can see here we have our ubuntu operating system in full screen mode so that's it for this video. Hope this video was helpful to you. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Bye for now. See you next video.